Good evening. In the sense of the uh, former question, the improvisation with professional actors is one thing. How did you give orientation to the teenager and the child on uh, improvising, which is different? How did they, how were they able to do this? The children were very important in that production, and uh, I really like them it's, uh, because uh, I think they are brilliant, and they they were a part of our little film family, yeah? and we were really taking care on them. When we were sitting around our big Italian family table, yeah, it, uh, the children were there, and uh, they were always running around, and we were speaking to them. But there was n not a kind of special preparation for them. So, it, uh, of course, they knew what this film is about. Uh, but as I told before, we shoot it chronologically, and uh, so they could get into that story step by step. Yeah? And, uh, and so they improvised as the actors did. So sometimes they did not know what will happen. For example, the scene when Frank try, tries to build the bed with, with his little son. Uh, uh, Mika did not know what will happen, but he, but he saw and recognized that his father is losing control. And, and then he tries to take the situation. And, uh, and he started to read and tried to get control. And uh, that was very natural. Uh, and uh, he only used his own words, uh, and uh, and he only did his own kind of pauses. For example, the little scene where he is asking for the iPhone, yeah. uh, uh, I, because he was always playing with his iPhone on the set. Uh, we, ha we we got this uh, this idea that he will a that he could ask for that, and uh, and I proposed that to him, and uh, and I said, okay, I will ask, and. Uh, and that's the way he did. That was his intention. So he, he stepped into the situation with, is, is that the truth that you are going to be die? And then he, he made this very, very long pause. And then he was brave enough to ask the second question. And all his reactions were his own reactions. I didn't say, I didn't say too much in that situation. Because usually if you don't disturb uh, your actors or the non-professionals have good feelings for a situation. Yeah. Sometimes for a director, it's better not to speak too much. And uh, you can destroy the situation. You can destroy the, the real emotions of the people in front of the camera. And especially with children, it is difficult. Yeah. And uh, Lily is another example. So uh, when I did the researches for that movie, uh, I spoke to a man, and his wife was uh, died some years ago uh, by breast, breast cancer. And uh, and and when when she was there at the hospital, at, uh, and the, and she was dead, his children were there. He had a ten-year-old daughter. She was a diver, yeah, and uh, and a little son. And uh, and the daughter and and w the story he tell he told me, his daughter was standing at the window. It was a morning turning around and said, I have to go to training now. And when I heard that during the researches, I was really impressed by that sentence. And I knew from that moment on that this will be the end of our movie. I was sure that there is no stronger sentence than that, uh, because it leads straight back into life. Yeah. And. Uh, I, at this point of the researches, I did not knew so many things about our film, but I knew this is the ending. And uh, and then I started to look for a, a little bit older girl. She, uh, we had the idea that she she should be around 14, a teenager. So when you get ashamed when your father is sitting in a wheelchair and so something like that. And uh, so I was looking for 14 year. 14-year-old divers in Berlin. <laughs> Not so easy. There were only four. <laughs> and uh, and I did a little casting with these four girls. And, uh, and the best of them was Lily. And then I discovered uh, that this, this girl from the casting was the girl from the real story, uh, from the researchers. And uh, this girl who said, in reality, this sentence, 
and I stopped the process immediately. And I told Lily, sorry, Lily, but I really like your expression and the way you are acting. You're a wonderful girl, but I cannot work with you in that movie because it's not possible. It's too close to your own emotions, I'm sure. Sorry for that. And so uh, I decided to take another girl. And Lily started to fight. Yeah. And her father called me, and she called me, and it was terrible. It was terror, terrorism on phone and everywhere. So, and they, they were fighting. And, um, uh, and then we decided uh, another thing. And, uh, we asked, uh, asked a psychologist in Berlin. There's, there's a special guy who's working with traumatized children. And uh, we asked him to speak with Lily and to check that girl. And she agreed. And so uh, they, had, uh, they had a conversation for nearly two hours. And then uh, he said to me, listen, you can work with that girl. It's no problem at all. She's very strong. And, uh, and you will see uh, there will be no problem at all. And then we decided to do the film with Lily. And he was totally right. And she's, uh, she's a very strong girl. Maybe uh, because she has this experience, that is the reason that she's so strong. Yeah? And uh, she had so nice ideas during the improvisation. For example, remember the little scene when the family is sitting uh, at the evening eating pizza and Frank starts to cry and goes upstairs and his wife follows him. And then the two children stay there at the table. And Lily asks Mika about the homework. Yeah. This is her idea. I didn't tell her. I didn't tell her. This was her proposal because she had the feeling that in that strong situation, uh, she has to that she has to take care of her little brother and, uh, and tries to bring something else into his mind in that situation. And this is wonderful. And uh, and maybe this this is because she had this ex experience. And of course, it was a strong situation when we shoot the final scene of the movie. I was always a little bit afraid of that and I was often, uh, I often asked her about that. Uh, is that possible to you to speak your own sentence? And she said, why not? What's the problem? It's my, my sentence. Uh, and, uh, and then we did that and uh, I think nearly the whole crew uh, only the three to four people there, <laughs> not the whole crew. <laughs> but we were, but we were really impressed, you know. And, uh, and uh, everybody started to cry a little bit secretly. Yeah? Uh, not Lily; <laughs> she was totally, totally strong. It was easy to. And then I walked with her through the snow, and I asked her, "How was it?" And she said, "No problem. Uh, I have my my mother in my heart, you know. And uh, of course, they are." A lot of a lot of situations here that you remind me on her, but that's not bad. That is good for me, and so it's helpful uh, to get through these things. And I think she's really a wonderful uh, uh, young woman and uh, and, a, and a nice actress. I think she's very ta very talented, and so it's, this was these children were a great gift. You know, I I, I had not too much work with them. <laughs>